It is Saturday, February the 17th, Risen Star Stakes day at the fairgrounds. Let's see how the day turns out. Come with their ears up, Trumpets and Edgar Perez, they are the targets. They cut the corner and open up by two and a half. Toward the inside, Retail Therapy tries to take up the slack, but Trumpets is traveling very well. On the stand side, Save Us Melania trying to get into second, but nobody's getting close to Trumpets. It's Trumpets, a deserving favorite, as she's a handy winner at four to five. Second, Retail Therapy. And they're at the top of the stretch. They went 45 and 2 for the opening half mile, and for some reason is on his way with a five length lead. Kopesh starts to finish up pretty well. He's trying to get into second with less than an eighth to go for some reason by four. On the outside, Kopesh, he is up into second, and he's gaining gradually, but for some reason is in front by two and a half. They're at the top of the stretch. Call me Penny on the outside. Definite diva toward the rail. These two continue to spar. There's an eighth of a mile to go. On the inside, indefinite diva. She's responding to Paco urging, and she's got it won. It's definite diva on the board at four to five, and that four to five is easy money by two in the end. But very wide is Bodie's Maker on the far outside, the one widest into the stretch. They turn in. I won mind tap battles along out. Liar, Delitza, Vita, and the center of the track, Bodie's Maker. I won. I won the nine year olds in front now by two and a half. Delitza, Vita coming back gamely. Outlier on the inside, followed by Bodie's Maker to the middle of the track. Here's I won. I won wins. I won. Fifth at Gulfstream was a beaten $50,000 claimer. I like Sappy Joseph's number six, Nova the Soul of Irad Ortiz. Press the pace to the top of the stretch. But on the outside, Novo Soul right alongside. Alvarado more animated in the saddle on Vladislav as Novo Soul is ready to take over. Three quarters, 111 and three, they're in the drive. Vladislav trying to fight off Novo Soul. Novo Soul powers forward now. Vladislav is second, Reed on his third. Public. Novo Soul in the fifth, my first winner locally. Novo Soul in the fifth, my first winner locally. The seventh at Oakland was the ruthless stakes for three-year-old Phillies going seven furlongs on the main track. I like number four, Heavenly Forte. If she ran back to her first two races, her buyer speed figures made her much the best. It was the last race that you had to go. Eh? The co-favorite was a last out maiden who was cross-centered in the Dixieville in Oakland. And I didn't like her in any race. Heavenly Forte stalked the pace in fourth around the far turn, moved four wide to cover the front running favorite, co-favorite, last out maiden winner, Gallia's Princess. The field, society. They reached the top of the stretch and went 46 and four for a half mile time. And Gallia Princess looking very strong here. Gallia Princess now kicks on. Helena's Forte is getting closer and here comes Helena's Forte right after the leader, Gallia Princess. Gallia Princess now challenges Helena's Forte. <laughs> Third, Helena's Forte with that sustained rally is going to win. Helena's Forte wins the ruthless. Helena's Forte. Cash for over thirty dollars on the first stakes winner of the day. The night that Laurel was the featured Grade Three General George going seven furlongs on the main track, and I like Brittany Russell's number three post time who was six for seven career and three for four to seven furlong distance. He looked to be a short price favorite. My plan was to bet 25 to win on him. Instead, he got pounded at the windows. I decided to up the bet. He sat behind horses. 
He was behind the wall, horses in the stretch, they split toward runners. toward the top of the stretch, half mile, 46.61. They've still got to catch, seven's 11. Seven's 11, the leader, Tenebris up on the outside, trying to whip up a rally. Nimitz class in between horses. Post time's also in between, going to be taken to the outside now. Is post time by Sheldon Russell, way the center of the track. Still has work cut off for post time. Post time, no, kicks in that gear. Here's post time. Post time on the outside, post time at seven. Fifty to win. Three quarters, one minute, 14.29 seconds. It's Antiquarian. Antiquarian has forged ahead of Just a Freak with El Magnifico. Kurdishman is over here on the stand side. And then comes Funny Flame. Uh, farther out is Elko County and Sweet Talk in Bourbon. It's Antiquarian past the 16th. El Magnifico. And on the outside, it's Kurdishman with Johnny Velasquez. Antiquarian. Antiquarian gets the result. In the 10th at the fairgrounds, it was a mile and a 16 on the soft turf because they had so much rain there, as you could have seen in the earlier replays. The Alstall Memorial. I like number six, Spirit and Glory, and it tripled the bet. For longs to go. Watch this birdie's been saving ground. Then comes Sultry Lass. The Trillos remain. Trying my heart out. And finally, Creative Car Hour remains the trailer with under a quarter of a mile to go. It's not so close. And here's Join the Dance, who comes up the rail sweetly. And right there, too, is Spirit and Glory. After three quarters in 1 minute 13.16 seconds, Spirit and Glory with the running rail. Right there is Join the Dance. Not so close. Fancy Martini. Trying my heart out is bravely battling between horses. Watch this birdie. And then Girl Named Charlie. And on the far outside, Creative Cairo, who is last on the back of the course, stand side rail, but it's Spirit and Glory. Spirit and Glory, and trying my heart out, Spirit and Glory has won the Albert M. Stoll Memorial from... After three quarters and one eleven and one, they reach the top of the stretch. Victors Valiant turns for home on top into the clear wall. Wide is Classic Motown off cover now is asking my name. There's an eighth of a mile to go. Victors Valiant has the lead. Classic Motown trying to finish up down the center of the racetrack. It's Classic Motown getting up. Classic Motown surging forward. Classic Motown in front. race past the quarter mile mark on the outside it's Donegal forever trying to hook Sarah Shaman who tries to turn him away running home with an inside lane is game warden then bourbon resolve and smile Mon. they're at the top of the stretch this favorite's not finding much under pressure Donegal forever but he has reached the lead right back at him is Sarah Shaman they come past the 16th pole Sarah Shaman game Donegal forever just in front at the rail it's bourbon resolve who launches late photo finish As they turn for home, a quarter of a mile left to go to the second wire. And it's Salty Girl on the outside. Celtic Bond re-kicks down to the inside, head-to-head -head for the lead. Laughing fit to the middle of the track is in third. Then it's enemy number nine. On the inside, Amy Symphony. They've got about a furlong left to run now. And Salty Girl kept the task now under a drive by three, by four, almost five. It's Salty Girl and Victor Carrasco with a 16th left to go. Amy Symphony closing the gap for a second on the inside. Salty Girl. And Amy Symphony, Salty Girl, Amy Symphony, and Laughing Fit will. It's Midnight Worker approaching a quarter mile left to go. Cheeky Tico at four to five now, ready to challenge. And here comes Cheeky Tico calling for the lead. It's Cheeky Tico who's in front. Cheeky Tico has passed. Midnight Worker Street Cop Officer. Here comes this run from Union Lights. Union Lights in the green sleeves. But Cheeky Tico is still too clear. It's Cheeky Tico. Union Lights late run here. Disappearance. Cheeky Tico's almost there. It is Cheeky Tico up by four now. Cheeky Tico. Madison over. They'll get the victory. It's Cheeky Tico over. Union Lights disappear.
coming to the top of the stretch now. Inside is Shine Like a Diamond, asks for more. The outside, Smooth Pebble, another world inside. Still there in between horses as they turn in. Out the center of the track is Lunita. And then Thea's theme coming to the final furlong. Shine Like a Diamond shrugs off Smooth Pebble to open up a two-length lead. Another world inside, battling gamely there for a second. But it's Shine Like a Diamond. Shine Like a Diamond. A score clear at the end under Jamie Rodriguez. Smooth. It's Mama's Dream who's kicked away. Mama's Dream has the lead. Now here comes Eric from Miami and Judge Rules. They continue to chase this leader who's still holding him off. It is still on the front end. Up for long left to go. Mama's Dream, but Eric from Miami starts to get closer now. Here's Eric from Miami to push on by. Mama's Dream is game, but has been passed. Eric from Miami gets the job done. Mama's Dream, the big number. It's landed in front. Landed is trying to take them all the way with a quarter mile left to go. My main squeeze, the favorite with every chance right to the outside is ready to challenge. And now my main squeeze is pressed on. Landed is back to second. It is my main squeeze trying to open up here in the late stages. My main squeeze landed as a clear second, two lengths back, far, far back to the rest. It's my main squeeze inside the final 16th, three to five and wins the Matty May. Very easily. My main squeeze wins it over. Landed, then Bernie takes charge. Saturday was a, a good day. I didn't cash nearly as many tickets as I would have liked to. I had three winning tickets that I cashed on Express Bet because they are offering a bet back at Laurel. I cashed my bet of the day in the Grade 3 General George at Laurel. And I had a couple other stakes wins, but not as many as I usually do.